uh, hi guys uh, it's medicine and medical supplies management for NETA level 5 uh, today now we are going to uh, discuss about criteria and the challenges facing selection uh, and these are uh, these are learning tasks by the end of this session every student should be able to mention criteria uh, for selection of medicines and the medical supplies and also uh, to list uh, the problems uh, facing selection uh, of medicines and the medical supplies so these are just learning tasks or uh, some uh, uh, objectives yeah this session uh every student after this session uh, lazim hajue kutaja uh, those criteria for selection of medicines and the medical supplies and also to list uh, those matatizo or problems ambazo zina face selection uh, of medicines and the medical supplies uh, before uh, we learned uh, about uh, the introduction of uh, introduction to medicines uh, introduction to selection of medicines and the medical supplies uh, to kasema selection uh, in medicines and the medical supplies uh, it is not uh, simple uh, as the word uh, selection as it is uh, but uh, in the selection of medicines and the medical supplies uh, according to medicine and the medical supplies management uh, it involves uh, reviewing the pattern of prevalent disease uh, and to select or to choose uh, the treatment uh, of choice uh, and also uh, to see what kind of medicine uh, can be used for uh, for the treatment of the certain prevalent health problems and in which dosage forms. Uh, Pia to discuss to kasema uh, selection of medicine and the medical supplies uh, also involves uh, uh, to decide which kind of medicine should be found in each level of the health system. Uh, now we are going to see uh, what are the criteria what are the criteria uh, and the challenges uh, or problems facing uh, that uh, process of selection of medicines and the medical supplies? Uh, uh, first, let us see the criteria for selection of medicines and the medical supplies. Vitugani vya kuzingatia. What are the criteria? Vitugani to consider uh, so that we can select medicines and the medical supplies. Uh, the following are the criteria for selection of medicines and the medical supplies in our health facilities. Uh, first, we have relevance. Uh, relevance to pattern of prevalent disease in that area. Uh, is that medicine or medical supplies selected uh, relevant to pattern of prevalent disease in that area? Ah, ni kwamba una, unaangalia je this kind of medicine ambao naienda kuprocure au na select ili nikai procure uh, ni, ni relevant ni relevant to the pattern of prevalent disease in our area uh, prevalent diseases ni yale malazi ambayo yana uh, yana any tendency yake au occurrence yake au cases uh, in a high number of cases in our uh, areas uh, ugonjwa ambao unakuwa una high number of cases in a large number of cases uh, in the area that is prevalent disease so uh, is that medicine you are selecting uh, relevant to pattern of prevalent disease in the area uh, ambapo itaenda kutumika uh, second uh, medicine that satisfy the healthcare needs uh, of the majority of the population uh, in our population kwenye jamii uh, we need to select the medicine uh, ambayo itaenda ku benefit uh, majority of the population. Uh, watu wengi wataenda kunufaika na hiyo dawa considering a lot of things, uh, bay, uh, effectiveness and so on. 
kwamba je uh, that kind of medicines uh, itaenda ku satisfy uh, the healthcare needs of the majority of the population kwenye jamii and also uh, it should be of proven efficacy and safety from the clinical uh, studies data uh, lazima uh, dawa ambayo una select au the medical supply whatever unayo select should be uh, of proven efficacy and safe uh, uh, from the clinical studies data uh, and uh, it should be assured quality and its availability should be uh, assured uh, kwamba ile dawa au kifuatibo unachokichagua uh, in, uh, in medicine and medical supplies management kwa ajili let's say ya kuprocure uh, should be quality of good quality and uh, kama ni medicine basi availability yake uh, iwe uh, desirable desirable for kinetic uh, properties uh, and also uh, the knowledge uh, the knowledge and the skills uh, of the healthcare uh, workers to administer uh, you can't select the medicine uh, ambayo our healthcare workers our ways ku administer uh, labda hatuna knowledge uh, according to our curriculum kwenye studies uh, let's say our healthcare workers uh, hawa jifunzi au hawafahamu let's say uh, wa china wenzetu uh, na bahazi ya mataifa ya asia uh, wanazo dawa ambazo uh, administering administration yake uh, ni tofauti sana na uh, our common medicines ambazo tunazo uh, kuna some medicines let's say uh, tunaona hata kwenye uh, tamthilia zao and whatever wanatumia sindano uh, mtu anachoma tu sindano mwili mzima then anapata relief you never know if there is medical technique there and sisi hatujifunzi and uh, we are not familiar kwa kwa, kwa zile techniques ambazo tunazitumia so you can't select such kind of medicine uh, kwa ajili ya matibabu ya uh, ya taasisi i mean ya taasisi zinazopatikana kwenye uh, jamii zetu kwa sababu healthcare workers hawana skills wala knowledge otherwise kama tuta acquire uh, those knowledge na skills uh, we can select them and uh, it should be stable during storage and the transport selected medicine uh, and the medical supplies should be stable during storage and the transport so uh, these are just some example uh, of criteria uh, for selection of medicine uh, and the medical supplies uh, these are criteria uh, but when two or more similar medicines are available selection will be based uh, on one uh, kama tuna, 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 tuna two au more than one medicine ambao iko available in the market uh, and can be uh, can the, the, ana zote zinaweza zikatumika kwa ajili ya treatment ya certain prevalent health problems uh, selection lazima i based kwenye moja wapo ambayo ni more either more stable uh, au cost effective uh, tukisema more stable tunaangalia uh, its stability during storage and the transport uh, kuanzia kipindi ambacho uh, ile dawa itanunuliwa uh, mpaka kipindi ambacho itatumika na ku expire uh, ipi ni more stable compared to uh, the other so uh, the one which is more stable uh, most stable compared to zile zingine uh, will be selected na kama dawa uh, zimepatikana uh, zimefanana kwenye criteria zote za selection uh, na zote zipo sokoni uh, tutaangalia ile ambayo pia ni cost effective kwamba the total cost of treatment uh, and not unit cost tunaangalia uh, gharama zitakazotumika kwenye kutumia dawa fulani kwa ajili ya matibabu uh, na sio uh, the uh, unit cost uh, anaposema unit cost let's say uh, tuna dawa A and tuna dawa B uh, dawa A uh, yenyewe kwenye swala la stability uh, na ukilinganisha na dawa B uh, dawa A ni stable uh, kulinganisha na dawa B so 
uh, dawa A itachaguliwa kwa sababu ya stability. Uh, criteria zingine zote ziko okay uh, zinafanana lakini kwenye swala la stability uh, dawa A imekuwa uh, bora zaidi. Uh, kwenye swala la cost effectiveness let's say we have dawa A and dawa B medicine A and medicine B or medical, medical supply A and medical supply B. Tunaangalia Uh, ili mradi mtu atumie dawa A uh, kwa ajili ya matibabu yake yote inabidi atumie labda dozi ya siku 5 uh, uh, siku 5 uh, ambayo labda ina vidonge uh, siku 5 labda let's say TDS TDS uh, kila baada ya masaa nane kila baada ya masaa nane anywe kidonge kimoja kwa muda wa siku tano kwa hiyo uh, kama atatumia uh, kidonge kimoja Uh, kwa, kwa, kwa kila baada ya masaa nane manake kwa siku anatumia vidonge vitatu then kwa siku tano uh, he or she uh, is going to use uh, 15 tablets so uh, 15 tablets let's say kidonge kimoja ni shilingi mia kidonge kimoja ni shilingi mia uh, kwa hiyo uh, kwa kwa vidonge 15 itamgalimu uh, shilingi elfu moja na mia tano uh, then huyo mtu atakuwa amepona lakini kuna dawa B ambayo yenyewe mtu anatumia uh, vidonge viwili uh, kila baada ya masaa nane uh, labda ni kwa siku tano uh, na kila kidonge kimoja kina gharama ya shilingi mbili so ukiangalia gharama ya ya, 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 ya matibabu uh, kwenye, kwenye, kwenye dawa B uh, na dawa A Uh, dawa A itaonekana kuwa ni nafuu kuliko dawa B kwa sababu hata hivyo huyu anatumia viwili uh, kwa wakati uh, na kwa baada ya masaa nane so kwa siku ni vidonge vingapi vidonge sita then kwa siku tano ni vidonge 30 then bado kidonge kimoja ni shilingi mbili so hii itakuwa ni gharama kubwa zaidi hata kama ikitokea let's say uh, dawa fulani uh, kidonge kimoja ni gharama nafuu sana lakini kidonge kingine uh, dawa nyingine ni gari lakini uh, ile kidonge kimoja ambacho ni gali uh, ni shilingi labda elfu tano alafu kidonge kimoja ambacho ni cha rahisi ni shilingi mia tano uh, lakini uh, namna uh, ya kutumia kile kidonge chenye gharama nafuu uh, unaweza kujikuta unatumia vidonge vingi zaidi vidonge vingi zaidi uh, ili mradi upone so ukajikuta umezidi ile gharama ya kidonge kimoja ya shilingi elfu tano uh, ambayo ungetumia kimoja tu shilingi elfu tano alafu ungepona so a uh, cost effectiveness tunaangalia ile ambayo uh, kwenye cost of treatment itakuwa nafuu uh, lakini hatuangalii kidonge kimoja kimoja kita garimu shilingi ngapi and the, uh, example let's say let's see the simple example example uh, vio can be cheaper uh, but uh, may need refrigeration uh, syringes Uh, and expert healthcare workers to administer so kwa mfano tuna vials vials ni aina ya dawa ambazo zinakuwa administered kwa sindano uh, inaweza kawa ni, ni shilingi tatu lakini kidonge labda ni shilingi uh, 1300 si lakini uh, vial labda inaweza kahitaji refrigeration ifadhiwe kwenye refrigerator Uh, itahitaji syringes ambayo labda let's say ni shilingi elfu mbili pia itahitaji expert healthcare worker alipwe ili mradi haweze kukuchoma so unaweza kukuta ni uh, vayo ni ya gharama nafuu sana uh, labda ni shilingi uh, tano tu lakini uh, ili mradi mtu aipate uh, ifike kwenye mwili wake kwa ajili ya matibabu uh, itagalimu hata shilingi 30000 lakini kuna kidonge tu ambacho ni mtu anachukua anakunywa uh, lakini ni shilingi elfu tano so we are we are looking for cost effectiveness uh, ikiwa kama tuna dawa mbili au zaidi uh, kwenye soko and uh, appropriate for level of healthcare use uh, another criteria ni kwamba ni iwe appropriate for level of the healthcare use example the primary healthcare select is simple and easy to use uh, medicines and medical supply so tunaangalia uh, ile healthcare level uh, kama ni uh, it is primary healthcare so ata selected medicines zitakuwa simple and easy to use uh, avoid confusions uh, of names and dispensing uh, avoid including the same medicines uh, with different strength different medicines 
with similar name so ukiwa unafanya selection ya medicine uh, na medical supplies uh, jaribu ku uh, ku reduce confusion uh, kadiri unavoweza confusion of names uh, and dispensing uh, zuia uh, ku, 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 ku uh, avoid to include the same medicines with different strength uh, unanunua let's say uh, dawa nyingi uh, ambazo uh, dawa dawa moja lakini uh, zinakuwa zina strength of tofauti uh, unanunua moxilin yenye mbili hamsini then ya moxilin zingine zina ya tano then ya moxilin zingine zina strength of tofauti so avoid confusion during uh, during selection of medicine uh, unavoamua kuchagua uh, ku select uh, paracetamol uh, ya miligram 500 basi you better select uh, paracetamol za miligram 500 zote au uh, avoid kuchagua dawa tofauti ambazo zina majina yanayofanana kwa ajili ya ku avoid confusion during dispensing uh, possibility for the local manufacturer je uh, hiyo dawa unayoichagua hakuna uwezekano uh, wa kupatikana kilaisi hata from local manufacturers wanaotuzunguka ikitokea hata international suppliers uh, hawapo je kuna uwezekano wa hiyo dawa kupatikana uh, from the local manufacturers uh, manufacturers wanaopatikana karibu na wewe and uh, kama kuna dawa mbili uh, ambazo zime meet criteria zote Uh, mpaka za cost effectiveness mpaka za stability and so on lakini dawa fulani A and dawa B uh, dawa A yenyewe kuna uwezekano wa uh, kupatikana from the local manufacturer kuliko dawa B uh, from uh, let's say the uh, uh, ile upatikanaji wake uh, tutachagua ile ambayo it is easier uh, to be uh, available from the local manufacturers and the availability as a single compound Uh, kwamba uh, you are selecting the medicine uh, sokoni in the market uh, let's say from the suppliers or manufacturers or whatever uh, tunahitaji uh, dawa ambayo uh, ni single compound uh, it's okay tunaweza pia tukatumia dawa ambazo they in combination kwamba certain medicine uh, in a component ya drug A and drug B inside lakini if uh, the single compound uh, is effective as uh, similar to a uh, drug ambayo ipo in combination and na zote they are found in the market uh, we have to select uh, the one that is the single compound and not in combination kama if cost effectiveness and the other factors they are similar the drug should be identified by the international non proprietary name Uh, the generic name uh, sometimes referred to as generic name so the selected drug should be identified by international non proprietary name uh, and also known as generic name uh, so these are just criteria uh, ambazo tunaweza tukazitumia uh, kwenye selection ya medicine and medical supply tukasema kwanza should be of prevalent uh, to the pattern uh, prevalent to the pattern of uh, prevalent disease uh, medicine it was satisfy uh, jamii kwa kiasi kikubwa then uh, usalama na uh, efficiency iwe sawa then quality na availability iwe vizuri uh, then knowledge and the skills ya healthcare workers to administer iwe okay and during storage and the transport iwe stable lakini pale inapotokea dawa uh, ziko mbili au zaidi uh, tutachagua ile ambayo iko more stable and cost effective Uh, lakini pia uh, tuzingatie appropriate for the level of the healthy care uh, use uh, dile ambazo ni primary health care uh, tutachukua simple na ambazo ni rahisi kuzitumia pia to avoid confusion uh, possibility of the local manufacturers ye hiyo dawa kuna uwezekano kupatikana uh, from the local manufacturers availability as a single compound lakini pia at uh, this point ya yeah, availability as a single compound Uh, itategemeana sana na effectiveness ya dawa kama uh, dawa in combination it is more effective compared to the single compound uh, we are going to select uh, 
uh, the one medicine ambayo iko in combination so uh, the drugs should be uh, should also uh, should be identified by uh, an appropriate international and appropriate name uh, known as generic names so now let us see the problems facing selection of medicine uh, and the medical supplies matatizo the following are the problems uh, facing selections of medicines and the medical supplies uh, first is failure to respect national protocol failure uh, to respect the national protocol uh, this may bring about selection of medicines and the medical supplies which are not essential for the community uh, and the nation at large but also may lead to the selection of supplies which are not important for a particular level of the facility uh, like referral hospital, regional hospitals, district hospitals, health centers and the dispensaries. Uh, matatizo ambayo uwa uh, kumba selection ya medicine and medical supplies one is failure uh, to respect the national protocol. Uh, kila taifa is nakuwa na na zile national uh, protocol zake ambazo zina guide uh, selection of medicines and the medical supplies. So uh, once there is a failure to respect the national protocol, it apelekea uh, kuchagua sasa dawa ambazo they are not essential uh, for the community and the nation at large. And sasa uh, kwa sababu uh, let's say healthcare workers uh, or pharmaceutical personnel ame fail kuheshimu the national protocol on selection of medicine and medical supplies uh, itapelekea kuchagua dawa ambazo they are not essential uh, kwa jamii na kwa taifa kiujumla kwa tajikuta tunachagua dawa ambazo hatuzingatii uh, zile selection criteria ambapo uh, haitokuwa good uh, atutohenda kumiti zile uh, needs za uh, watumiaji uh, multitude of products used uh, this is clouding uh, of supplies in facilities uh, which are used uh, for similar purposes uh, and also transition to new product. Uh, this is about innovation of new medicines uh, and medical supplies. They could be of the same effectiveness or better than, or, or better than the older ones, however they could not be cost effective or of uncertain safety. Economic interest of the people involved uh, may hinder proper selection of uh, procedures. And yeah, pointy, yeah, ne, na ya musho, a lack of well trained personnel. Hatuna uh, wale trained personnel wa kutosha, so in the kawa ni tatizo. Uh, during selection of medicine and medical supplies. The key healthcare workers or people involved in the selection should get trainings and updates in order for them to do informed decisions on the selection. So we have to lazima to it now uh, train the personnel ambao wataweza kuselect uh, these medicines and medical uh, supplies accordingly. Uh, so uh, these are problems uh, ambazo uh, zina face selection uh, of medicines and medical uh, supplies. Actually, uh, zipo nyingi. Uh, tunaweza tukawa nazo nyingi sana uh, problems ambazo zina tukumba wakati tuna select medicines and medical supplies. Uh, but these are some of them. Uh, and the killer, uh, every, student, every student should be able to uh, to mention and to explain these problems uh, facing uh, the selections of medicines and the medical supplies. So uh, we have those uh, learning tasks. Uh, let's use these learning tasks as uh, evaluation. Every student should be uh, uh, should be taking uh, the time. To evaluate him or herself uh, na kuangalia kama amelewa the session if he or she can answer these questions uh, accordingly.